Logie Timber was set up as a partnership between myself and Alec Lane. Um, Alec's family own Logie Estate and uh, been using the, using the timber from off the estate as well for the sawmill. The timber frame shed was built by Henry Fosbrook um, and the whole point was to try and make it a roundwood timber frame that kind of in keeping in what we're doing with the sawmill project of trying to use local timber, local craftsmen, local trade. Uh, and trying to keep the hardwood in Murray. You know, Murray's got an amazing glut of quality hardwood timber, um, so we should really be trying to make the most of it and use it instead of it either getting chopped up as firewood and burnt in the fire or shipped down off to England. So the whole point is to try and keep it local. We're now going into the softwood market as well, so we can do larch, cedar cladding and Douglas fir. First weekend in May, we're gonna have a big festival and a big opening and, and start showing off our timber from there and showing off the boards from there. So, so collaboration-wise with other with other people in the area, we're trying to work closely as we can with other companies, uh, such as Ace Adventure. We've, we've recently milled up some timber for them um, for their new toilet block and, and supplied them with some backs to clad one of their other buildings as well. Um, so yeah, we're trying to work as close as we can with local businesses to just to try and create a market and create an industry within and around within, within and around Logie and trying to make the most and the best of products that we have here. Ace Adventures and Hideaways leases the land from Logie Estate. We're expanding the camping and glamping facilities at Ace Adventure and as a consequence we needed more facilities, toilet and showers. So this extension was opened up in late July uh, after a couple of years of planning. Um, and as you can see from the cladding, it's all done in larch, and that's come from Logie Timber. Uh, a couple of years ago, there was a big windstorm that blew down some of the larch trees behind this building uh, where we have a disc golf course. Those trees were collected by Logie Estate, um, been stored, and then were used, the, the actual the trees that were used in this construction here. So the good thing about that is that by having the trees come from such a close place it's a pretty low carbon footprint they're only about two miles away where the sawmill is now and it creates more employment locally the businesses are collaborating well uh, and the diversification within Logie Steading and the, and the businesses that work within it and locally help create a really good strong community.